Did the hedgehogs cover? No? Well, we're not doing options. <laughs> hey, shout out to Sarkhan for that. I fucks with you, bro. I like that shit. But yeah, that was pretty funny when you said that on my uh, on my comment yesterday. But uh, yeah, uh, really quick. Uh, let's have some fun real quick. So I'm seeing Eight Father respond to this meathead motherfucker named Weak Man fin Personal Finance. You know, this dude is so... If you just listen to what he's saying, right? And I just I just watched literally three videos of him. You just listen to his words. This man weak as fuck. He's a pansy. And I'm listen. I'm only listen. If you're if you're like me, you're not left wing. You're not right wing. Okay. I'm in the middle. Okay. This dude is one of these weak ass right wingers that claim they know everything and know absolutely nothing. You understand? They literally like he's literally one of these guys. <laughs> that really knows nothing. And then the, and then he's hypocritical at that. Check this out, right? On his last video, he talks about how apes are stupid because we're look at this 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 favorite app that you guys love, Robinhood. Yeah, they're making all this money off of you guys. Like as if he's doing not doing it, right? Go to his video, right? And you see some of the detailed information and it says show more, right? Bro, tell me why this man got a link to free stock on Robinhood. Yeah, looks like, looks like, <laughs> boy, you better take your puss ass on, man. Really, like, this is what I'm saying. Super duper hypocritical motherfuckers talking about free stock. Get free stock. Click on this link. Yeah, yeah, I bet you motherfucker. Strong man. Finance. Your boy, your name is Pussy Boy Finance. That's what you are. Yeah. And like I said, I came at you and I told you. I said, hey, show my video. Why don't you show your subscribers my video? What I said to you. Broke boy. Index funds for 10 years and you ain't got shit. Talking. This is what he said. This is how I know he broke. You know what broke people do? They'll, this, is, this is what they'll say. I don't have to show off my... my um, I don't have to show off that I'm rich and famous. He'll he'll literally use, like, this is what what, what he did. There's a dude that was in a gas station that wore a twenty thousand dollar chain, to, you know, in the in the in the corner. He in the corner store buying lotto tickets. Okay, who the fuck cares if he got a twenty thousand dollar chain in the fucking corner, like a, a convenience store? I don't give a fuck. But apparently, he in this neighborhood that he was in, somebody tried to rob him. You know what I'm saying? This man goes on a tangent talking about, oh, why would he spend $20,000 on a chain? Why did he do this? He could have just did that. <laughs> like, as if he picking on my people. You racist fuck. Yeah, you know why you don't want to fuck with me, because I'll pull up on you for real, boy. Tell your subscribers you scared to play my video. He even told me, he's like... Until you have a counter argument, well, well, I have a counter argument. I just told you, pull up, or a matter of fact, let's have a let's have a boxing match. I'll donate whatever I earn to the motherfucking cause or whatever cause your charity, whatever the fuck you want, boy. I just want to beat your motherfucking ass till you sleep. You hear me? Cause you talking all this shit about all us apes, retail investors. And then it's crazy. People getting on his comments talking about, hey, I'm an ape, but I think it's cool that you're fighting with ape father. I'm so bored of these conventional videos. I bet you are, lame ass motherfucker. I bet you are. Yeah. So, anyways. Anyways, man, like I said, he not gonna play my videos. If he does, I wish he I wish he I wish he would. I wish you would, boy. Like I said, say my name, it's going to happen. Say my name and it's going to happen. Because I'm eight fathers. And see, he only's gonna, he's only going to respond to eight father. He ain't going to respond to me. He already know. I already, I already said it. Does your wife know that you're on the computer playing with real gangsters? Does your wife know that you're really doing that? Does your, you, 
you love your baby, don't you? Yeah. Oh, yeah, we're not playing. This is money, boy. You playing with people money. And you calling names and you talking shit. Yeah. See, like I said, I don't have a corporation hanging over my head telling me what to do. I don't have a corporation saying, oh, I'm going to cancel you. I don't have social media saying, oh, Phil, you're canceled forever. And this motherfucker got a parlor. <laughs> I bet you do, you you country-fed, right-wing lame. That's what you are. Oh, and there's a few liberal lames, too. Don't get it twisted. I'm pretty sure they're out there. But you, my friend, you are a right-wing lame. Lame is what you are. Weak man finance. Now, I'm sorry to keep making this about him. Oh, come on, Phil. Don't be promoting him. I get it. I understand. But I'm just letting y'all know. Look at, look at the timelines, okay? And look at who's in them comments. He might be deleting my comments. I don't know. Then he's sending his little goon squad or his little fan base is coming in my in my comments. Talking about, oh, you're a nobody. Yeah, I bet you. Like I said, I've already explained to my subscribers who I am. I mean, I could I could easily make what you want me to do, make a montage of pictures like, listen, I'm, I'm, I'm not a YouTuber. You understand what I'm telling you? I don't give a fuck what anything you understand. Like we have zero understanding, but I, I am an AMC shareholder. You feel me? Oh, man, I got to find this guy. Citadel's working their magic right now trying to find out who I am. You'll never find me. You'll never find me. I already was prepared for this. Citadel. And yeah, when you come to Miami, who knows? <laughs> like I said, you see what them Haitians up to right now, right? Huh? You see what you watch the news, right? Yeah. Keep playing. Citadel. Cover your shorts, motherfucker. Next time I might tell the Zopound what y'all up to. Who knows? And you know we don't give, you know them Zopounds don't give a fuck by nothing. They don't give a fuck by nothing, Citadel. But anyways, like I said, I'm not here to say, hey, I'm just this dangerous motherfucker. I just don't like when motherfuckers talking shit and they're hypocritical and they talking shit about the wrong people. Because the wrong people, you see, you, you, you keep lumping motherfuckers in your shit. Oh, the grift, the grift, the grift. Nigga, have you seen your grift? I've been peeped your grift. Have you seen your grift? I, I see your grift, though. But anyways, people, like I said, SEC versus Citadel in a few hours. Who do you think is going to win? Citadel is trying to say, hey, I just want to protect the retail investor while they're taking from the retail investor. That's what they're doing. That's what this is. That's what they're going to do to us. They're trying to convince to the rest. Of, and, then, and then the crazy part is I see I seen a Robin Hood ad. Right. And this is how I know Robin Hood's full of shit. They're trying to use this current situation or at least the the. The, the swagger of those lame ass coon as like congressmen talking about oh you mean to tell me i don't have any fees i don't get i don't have to pay any fees to trade they're trying to make that seem like it's good without telling you what they're doing to your fucking orders because that's how they get the dumb motherfuckers so it surprises me when a dumb motherfucker you know, when a dumb motherfucker like Weak Man Finance talks about free stock. So when you go down into his YouTube videos, go see it for yourself. Free stock. Now, like I said, 
I might be the realest ape out there. I don't know. I haven't grifted none of you motherfuckers. I haven't asked none of you motherfuckers for money. I don't need your money. I don't want your money. I don't want it. No, don't even send me no. I don't. He got his cash app out there. He got everything out there. He got his email. He's like, look, email me. All you got to do, talk to me. Personal finance. Bro, why would someone take finance information from you and you're sitting on index funds for fucking 10 years? Why? Oh, because it takes money away from Wall Street. Motherfucker, you putting out Robin Hood links. <laughs> Boy, look here, man. Look here. Like I said, man, it's y'all motherfuckers. Well, you are super embarrassing, dog. I hope you understand that. But. I'm interested and I'm interested to see what's going to happen. Shout out to AMC Biggums. Uh, you know, he's telling everybody, you know, check out the Dave Lauer uh, space chat. So if you got if you're getting on Twitter, you definitely want to listen to that. Um, I know Dave Lauer used to work for Citadel. I know he's a smart guy. I see the way he talks. He definitely knows a lot about what's going on. Only thing I don't know is why do you have review dork in there? Doesn't to me it don't make sense. I mean, I don't know. I guess he's like trying to be like like I said, there's a there's a group of apes that's you know, considering themselves, you know, like remember this, remember this. Some of the apes that are out there, and yeah, they they, they are apes, right? They're holding and they're 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 buying and they're holding. But see they tend to <laughs> ignore the rest of us apes. You know, they don't want to talk about the rest of us apes. They don't want to even mention us, the rest of us apes, because that don't help tarnish their brand because the rest of us apes, we live in reality. We don't live in, hey, I want to be famous land. Or we don't live in, hey, I'm part of a popular crew land. I'm not, I hate for a, with a passion, <laughs> the popular groups i'm not on that popular group shit who got the answers is what i'm looking at who got the facts is what i'm looking at who bringing me truth is what i'm looking at i don't want i don't want to deal with motherfuckers that's like hey i'm mr know-it-all and you should follow me because i'm smart and look at the cool crew that i'm with that's so fucking corny in high school. Let me tell you something. If you were ape, you you it don't matter where you what your background is, where you from, what your what your style is, what you're into. You could be into heavy metal. You could see I'm into rap. I'm into classical music. I like slow jams. I like all these things. But if you're into heavy metal, I don't know, alternative rock, pop, I don't give a fuck. You feel me? If you're an ape and you're coming from humble beginnings, Hey, you like my truths, then I'm for you. I'm actually for the real little guy. You understand? Don't matter your background. I'm in for the real little guy. I'm not here to sit here and sauce you up and tell you, hey, you know, buy this free stock. Click here for this free stock. Because I'm not a financial advisor. I'm the real I'm the real motherfucker that should be saying, hey, I'm not a financial advisor. I really, I'm really not. I just happen to do my due diligence and understand the this, this specific stock. And like I said, many people are going to be, you know, doubting this stock. Oh, it's never going to go anywhere. Oh, it, uh, because idiots like these right wing doofuses like a weak man finance and all these other dumb fuckers on CNBC they always look at the past, the past. Oh, look at the past, the past. You guys never were doing this. You guys were never were doing that. And Adam Aaron is always trying to tell these motherfuckers, hey, but the future is this. The future is that. No, but the past, you guys were like this. Meanwhile, they're sucking Elon Musk. Like, oh, he has the future, the future, the future. I believe in 
It looked like Jim Cramer sucks Vlad Tenev, whatever his name is. Oh, yeah, I believe in Vlad. I believe in the future, the future, the future. And here it is. When it comes to Adam Aaron, you keep saying the past, the past, the past. We see you, motherfuckers. I'm part of that. I'm part of the real rebels. You feel me? This is why I cater to certain individuals that are rebels. I get it. Y'all don't like Eight Father, but I like Eight Father. I like Astro. I like AMC Biggums. I like Jackson Hunter. I like these people. We all come from humble beginnings. We all are rebels. And Gorilla Knuckles, I fuck with you too. And there's others that I fuck with, you know, that I truly can say, hey, if me and this person was in the same room, I'm pretty sure we'll be drinking and talking. The rest of the motherfuckers, I don't know, man. Y'all want to sell me some shit. Y'all want to sit there and be on some other shit. Hey, this is the crew. We're apes. Like, don't sit here and say, hey, we're all apes. We're all in this together. And then you're sitting there saying, hey, we're only a crew of this many people. That, that ain't going to work. That ain't what this is. That's not what this is about. We are, we are really all in this together. Now, I know, yep, 16 minutes. I get it. I'm cutting it short. I'm sorry. But, yeah, that's just my thoughts on this entire situation. Uh, I'm definitely going to be listening to this audio uh, from, you know, with the SEC versus uh, Citadel. And, yes, and, and, yeah, everybody knows SEC ain't shit. They just told us they not for us. But... I mean, damn it, we really need them to win today. Otherwise, we're going to keep going through this bullshit. Uh, and that's just a fucking fact. So. Let's see where it goes.